Good morning and welcome. This is our seventh Ray Symposium, Youth Symposium. I am Dr. Moira Fitzpatrick, Regional Director of the Natural History Museum of Zimbabwe. I'd like to thank ICOM for the patronage and UNESCO for the funding. And particularly, I'd like to thank Ray's and the committee for organizing and putting together the symposium. We're living in changing times, and we've had to really um, change the way we've done our symposiums. In the past, we've always managed to get people together. This is the first time that we've had to do it virtually. And I'd like to thank everybody for your participation and coming forward. This is all about sustainable development goals, which is a very, very important thing. We've got tw um, 10 years, the, the next decade, in which to make a world um, sustainable. We have overstretched our our resources, and we now need to bring ourselves back into balance and back into check. And we're looking forward to everybody's contributions. I think everybody has, um, all the participants have worked incredibly hard to put forward the, um, the um, videos and the posters. So thank you very much, all of you, and I hope you all enjoy this youth symposium with a difference. And, let, and I now declare the symposium open, so thank you very much. On behalf of the Trustees of Ray's Trust, I'd like to welcome you to this, the 2020 Annual Symposium. It's certainly not been a particularly easy year for any of us across the globe, and it is therefore a pleasure to know that Ray's Trust has gone ahead with its intended symposium. This, the seventh annual symposium, rather than cancelling out like so many other things across the globe. Ray's Trust as was established in 2014 and is a voluntary organization which actively seeks to engage our young academics at local universities as well as high school students, giving them exposure to uh, presentations, to, to public debates, and showing them the potential that exists in the line of heritage and, and more importantly, science. A, you know, it's a subject which has got such bad publicity over the last few years as people have sort of shunned science uh, in favour of uh, more peripheral uh, interpretations of, of the world around us. Um, this symposium is basically uh, focusing on heritage and the social development goals and um, we are delighted that we have several co-sponsors, that is the Natural History Museum uh, of uh, Bulawayo, one of the regional museums of National Museums and Monuments of Zimbabwe, but also we've got had generous support from the uh, regional head office of UNESCO, which is based in Harare, as well as ICROM, and to those donors who have assisted us in preparing for this seminar, we wish to extend our most sincere thanks. Um, certainly uh, this is this online symposium is an interesting experiment and I'm probably fairly certain that it is almost certainly a, uh, a first in Zimbabwe, uh, but one that probably will become increasingly uh, utilized as we go forward from the current uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so welcome to all the students that are presenting on a variety of themes, uh, all very important in terms of the social uh, development goals um, and trying to look at how can we achieve sort of sustainable uh, life on Earth uh, today. Um, we have also this year for the first time extended and attempted to engage high school students through a poster competition. And we, um, we thank those that have um, uh, entered. Uh, it certainly hasn't been easy uh, reaching to the students uh, in, in, in the particular year. So, um, particu so I would just, um, as I say, on behalf of the trustees, wish to express our most sincere thanks to, to all who have um, participated in, to all who have organized, to all who have sponsored this symposium and uh, we are sure that it will be a resounding success and uh, we just want to thank all of you also that may just be looking in and, and, and seeing what's going on.
Sustainable development goals is such a buzzword in these times that we live in and uh, it gets one wondering what exactly is the meat of the matter. Kofi Annan, when he was UN Secretary General, said that sustainable development is far from being a burden but rather an exceptional opportunity economically to build markets, produce goods and services and create jobs socially to bring people in from the margins to give every man and woman a voice and a choice in deciding their own future. Wouldn't that be lovely to have our young people tap into that resource that gives them a voice and a choice into the future? Um, with that, reach a young soul trust and its partners, the Natural History Museum, Zimbabwe, and our sponsors, UNESCO Regional Office of Southern Africa, as well as ECROM, welcome you to this online event, the 7th Environmental Youth Symposium on Heritage and Sustainable Development Goals. We're glad to have you join us and hope you enjoy all the talks that are going to be presented and the competition for high schools that is going on. Uh, make sure you look at our, the posters that are displayed on this platform and uh, leave your comments and your votes and also the discussions that follow every oral presentation and uh, be sure to check for the schedule so that you can be part of this wonderful event.